to join George Miller, Tammy Boyd, and your own good representative, my friend and my brother, Rush Holt, and I welcome you, the people of the 12th Congressional District of New Jersey, to Washington and to the United States House of Representatives on this important occasion. The Congressional Oath of Office is a reminder to us all that we are a nation founded not on breeding, or birth, on tradition, or ancient history. We are a nation founded on ideas, ideas of justice, freedom, democracy, and the belief that we must all sacrifice a few of our rights to benefit the cause for the greater good. What you have witnessed today is something that news reports will never, ever tell you. But it represents the very best in our society, and it is fundamental a part of what has made this country so great and so beautiful. They will never tell you that every day in Washington, D.C., here on Capitol Hill, there are men and women who honor their commitment to serve you well. They burn the midnight oil, they fight the good fight. They believe in trying to do what is right, what is fair, and what is just. They will never tell you that Rush Holt is one of those men. He could have taken an easy life, but because he believed in the dignity of public service, he dedicated all of his intellect all of his scientific knowledge and know-how, his time, his resources, his heart, and his very soul to join the ongoing struggle to make the dream of democracy a reality, to create a more perfect union. So congratulations, Rush, on your election to a sixth term in the United States House of Representatives, and congratulations to the people of the 12th District of New Jersey. You have made a wise choice to send this good man to Washington once again. You know he will be here for you, standing up for you, speaking up for you, and speaking out. Just think, when I first came to Washington, D.C. the first time, in 1961, it was the year that Barack Obama was born. <laughs> To see these young black children here, these young African-American children here today, singing that beautiful song. In 1961, when we came here, blacks and whites could not board a Greyhound bus together and travel from Washington, D.C., to Virginia, to North Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, to New Orleans, without the possibility of being arrested or being in jail. Two weeks from today, two weeks from today, we will make a turn, we will turn a page, and we all said, yes, we can. Thank you very much.